it's me Chanel here and today I have a decorating ideas for decorate with me using paper mache boxes so let's get right into the video boxes that I'm going to use and I found this set at the store and it was on clearance after Christmas and it was actually four dollars for the whole set of the stacking boxes so let me just show you how many are in the box Me, I have always had a love for beautiful boxes, the hat boxes, and you could put hats in there as well as some um, other items or storage that you don't want to see or you want to conceal, such as these. And these make excellent use for just that. And as you can see, the different sizes there's one, two, three, four, five different boxes that I got for four dollars. other set here which is the paper mache boxes as well in the round and these just give a little bit more of an elegant look rather than the square ones but if you are a angular person this will work for you and if you're more of a curvy person like me these will work as well look and if you want to just keep them plain you can always add your applique on one side and then you can always turn the boxes completely around when you don't want to see the applique. I'm going to go for a Frenchie look. Might not go as well, but <laughs> we're going to try it. What you can do is go online and you can always buy or purchase pre-made appliques or printables online for a small price. They normally run anywhere from a dollar, two dollars. It just depends on the design. Or you can go online and just create it yourself which is what I did with this. This with a crown and a bee, queen bee, and added a couple of flourishes, the lines, the squiggly lines. And this different one right here that I created. Once you have created your design, you can, since your boxes are all different sizes, if you want to use different sized or different appliques, you can do that as well. But what you're gonna to have to do, since they are nesting boxes, you can resize each one of your prints on your printer, of course, to make them the correct size for each box that you're going to put on here. Like this one, I did at like 80%. That 70%. I printed it at 55%. Your design, you can cut it in a square if you want it squared or if you want it round. Like going to be using these different paints on the boxes along with some cutouts that I'm going to make on the computer and this color is called cloudy day and as you can see it's a beautiful shade of blue lighter shade of it and this is blue echo butter pecan ivory color and it is in the Waverly chalk paint and what I do with the jars because once I pour them out, then it's a lot easier to have a container to have them in, which is a good container like this that I purchased from my local craft store, and it's a glass container, so that once the paint is filled inside of the jar, such as this, then I can easily use it over and over again without it hardening or anything happening with the paint. Put this one in here, which is the cloudy day. No. This is the butter pecan. And first you give it a good shake. And you can shake it while it's in the jar, but it's just a little bit more easier to shake it inside of its bottle. And then just pop it open. And here again is all of the colors that I have mixed up and the colors that I'm going to be using, which is going to be a little bit of a Frenchy style. You can call it traditional or modern but 
for me, I'm calling it a Frenchie style. And these are the brushes. I'm just gonna use two small brushes. So now we're just gonna get on with the painting. And I'm gonna use just a brush, regular brush. top of my desk so no worries on that. Then I have to come off. Now this one actually I really could use it in its natural form with the paper mache color but I'm going to go with this and you'll see the color as it comes through. like this color shaking it up again you can see it's this beautiful French blue well boxes I have completely painted them up as you can see here and I did this one in one solid color did this one with the blue and then I did it the top just to add a little variation I really love boxes and things like this for storage and they're just pretty to look at but they make excellent use as well as function as well as you know having your pretty here these old knobs that I had and instead of using the paper that I showed you before in the other clips, I decided to use these knobs as handles just to upgrade the look. I'm just going to glue them right on. They are quite heavy, so they should adhere pretty well to the box. But I don't want to use like E6000. I'm just going to use some hot glue. And we're going to glue them right on to the front. And just our center point. It should be about right here. And... Uh, just get the glue, the glue gun. So let's get on with box number two. And what I'm gonna do is stack them on top of each other so that I can see exactly where the next one goes because when they're stacked, I want them to line up on top of each other. So yeah, again, like I said, I <laughs> changed my mind. And uh, so yeah, so now we have the whole look. Let's go style it up. Oh yeah, so we want that elusive YouTube algorithm to pick you up. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an upload. This has been Chanel, and I'll see you all for the next one.